Well, greetings from Washington, D.C. as you gather there in God's country for this year's Basin Electric Annual Meeting. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person, so uh, this is a good time to get up and go to the bathroom, I guess, while, you, while, <laughs> while they play the video. That said, I, I, more than anything, what I always want to convey to you all is, is uh, leadership and as members, Basin Electric is a, is a real sincere thank you. Thank you for my access to your leadership team. You know, Dale Nieswag and the others in government relations and, and your leadership team are really in many respects an extension of, of my team here in Washington. Uh, you're the ones that, that, that keep me well informed on the real impact on the ground of the things that we do out here in Washington and these days most importantly. You're the ones that provide me the the real life stories of the impact of things like the clean power plan and isn't that the big elephant in the room. Um, you know since I've gotten here and frankly even before that when I was on the North Dakota Public Service Commission this administration's assault on coal and on low cost base load electric generation um, has been it's been vigorous but it's it's accelerated in recent days and recent weeks and months. I'm so proud of our state and its in its role and in fighting the, the Clean Power Plan in, in uh, the courts and that provides a great deal of, of instruction and direction for me. As you know, we did pass in the House of Representatives the uh, Ratepayer Protection Act, which really puts a stay on the Clean Power Plan until the judicial process plays out and it also provides an opt-out provision for our governors. But um, we know that's not going anywhere in the Senate and we know that the President wouldn't accept it if it did. But it's still important to have the discussion in addition, we have now, and I'm a co-sponsor of two Congressional Review Act resolutions of disapproval of both the existing and um, new source performance standards. And so, very important again to continue the discussion, to continue working our circle of influence with our peers and our colleagues here in Washington, as well as to inform the country of the unilateral disarmament of our, uh, of our economy through this very ill-advised and extreme environmental overreach uh, that, uh, that the Obama administration is imposing on many parts of America and especially rural America and especially, uh, especially coal country in, in, uh, in North Dakota and the states that surround us and certainly the states that, uh, that are in the Basin Electric Territory. I must tell you I've always en enjoyed being the only member from the entire state of North Dakota and working with my colleagues from South Dakota and Wyoming and Montana where they also represent uh, the entire state. We have so much in common and we're not, there aren't very many of us but we control, we, we represent a lot of real estate and, uh, and we've earned the right to be heard. Not because we're such great members but because we represent such great people in great places and so uh, thank you so much for for being an extension of my team and keeping me well informed and allowing me the opportunity and the blessing, frankly, to be connected to you all. Just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for, uh, for being there for me and know that I'll always be there for you. Blessings.